We're back again with another video. This one about how to sideload uh, applications or APKs to your Fire TV. Any Fire TV, stick, cube, the actual TVs themselves. So what most, almost everyone knows is, uh, so far, I mean, if you just have the Fire TV and you want to load an application, these are great solutions. The ES File Explorer or the Downloader application. Uh, just pop in the link, download the app, and boom, it's good to go, right? But there are other, there is another way. Uh, there's actually, um, well, one way with uh, various solutions. So. Um, let's start from the beginning, shall we? So um, let's head over to settings and let me show you how it works. Um, head over to my Fire TV, developer options, turn on ADB debugging, turn on apps from unknown sources. Apps from unknown sources will allow you to insta install apps that are not in the App Store. The ADB debugging will allow connections from unknown sources to your Fire TV. This is an Android um, mechanism, so it's it's uh, it's basically embedded in all Android operating system devices. They will all have this option. Uh, so even though this is we're talking about the Fire TV here. This will work if you have any other Android based TV or, or TV or set top box. This will work, okay? So let's head back to the home page. We're gonna go over to my computer uh, and I'm gonna put this link in the description. All right, so at my computer, uh, head over to jocala.com. Okay, um, there's this tool ADB Link. See ADB, the same option that we just enabled on the Fire TV. So this is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So whatever it is you're running, uh, grab the application. All right, so. Since I'm on PC, I'm going to grab the Windows version. Download. I've done this before, so as you, you can see that it's uh, below. So I'm not going to create a shortcut, but that's up to you. Installing, and boom. Uh, we're going to launch the application. And there it is in all its glory okay so once you launch the application and uh, another thing to make note of is your machine whatever it is you're using to connect to your fire tv needs to be on the same network connected to the same router so that they could talk to each other and what if they are automatically you should see fire tv in the list here if it doesn't show up in the list or if you're using a different device uh, that's not a Fire TV, um, make note of the IP address. So uh, on the Fire TV, if we go back to the Fire TV settings, and again, same, my Fire TV, about network, there's the IP address to the Fire TV. So it's 192.168.1.136. You could type that in here. But since it's it's already here, we can connect to it. So I'm gonna connect to it and boom, right? Done. So now to prove that it's connected, I'm gonna install an APK. I'm going to do the test with Terrarium. There she is, install, installing. It's running the job right now. This shouldn't take too long. If it takes too long, it might actually, um, 
So if, if the connection isn't there or, or let's say the Fire TV doesn't like the app, boom, done, that was quick. Uh, you, you should also see a message come up on the, t the Fire TV itself indicating that it's been installed. But uh, because I already have that application, I don't think it did. Uh, you press and hold the home button will bring up this menu. You can go to apps. This way it shows you all the apps. And there it is. So let's just do it again. So if I uninstall, hit OK. And I'm going to run through it again. So I'm going to hit install APK just to prove that it does work correctly. Install, open, install. You should actually see a green bar, but sometimes the, the APKs are so small that it installs them so quick, right? Oh, I didn't finish this. And installing. There it is. You should see something come up on the screen. There it is, ready to launch. If I press that button, it launches the new APK. Now you can do this with any app. I just chose to use this one. And there you go. All right. Now, that's how. All right, so that's how you install or sideload APKs from your computer to your Fire TV. I'm going to put another video on how to do it from your uh, iPhone to your Fire TV and also your, um, your Android uh, phone as well. All right, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.